everybody. Give me one second, I gotta fix the audio settings. And I can't see chat, so if somebody's in chat, I'm sorry, I'll fix it. the volume down. Didn't I even turn the master volume down in the actual... Okay, chat's here. I'm using a very strange amount of my CPU. Junji DM me. Hello, Brad. I see you, Brad. I don't know. Junji with his fucking question mark. Fucking have some. <laughs> Have some fucking deduction skills. God. Look at the name of the server. What the fuck do you think it is? And then, and then yeah, there it is. There <laughs> in chat too. Also, I do see that Brad is in chat, but he's not saying shit. His, even his little circle is green, but no, no volume is escaping from it. Like, I'm trying really hard to speak. Oh, there he is. Not I hear you now. Hey. Cameron, okay. I can't make the fucking game bigger. I looked at the stream last time. It looks just fine. You're just a baby. Yes, Brad? You're just a baby. You're just a Like a freaking two-year-old. That's... Why are, you, why are you being mean to me all of a sudden? I don't know. I just... I'm like that... What's that one condition where you just randomly say random words randomly? And you have, like, no control over it? Sweet man, I'd love to have you in, and uh, yeah. Also, how's uh, how's audio? Can I be heard? Can Brad be heard? Yada yada yada, all that setting shit. All right, well we've been going for three minutes, and we haven't even fucking clicked a game yet. So let me just. Create a game. You can hear me now, right? Yes. Perhaps, and it's perhaps and it's a like too well. <laughs> is it like scale of one to twenty million? In terms of volume? Yes. Probably somewhere around five million. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, okay, so I exist now. Oh, I forgot. I was going to change my name. <laughs> you can say I exist now. I got to put the code in chat. I have it censored on stream so that we don't get stream snipers. I'm so bored. Called a layout, Cameron, you fuck. Oh, that's right. I need to re-download Among Us, don't I? Yeah, you know, to play Among Us? Yes, you would need to have Among Us downloaded. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is a requirement. Unfortunately.
Oh, you got a nice, you got a nice beard trim, Cameron, or not Cameron? Fuck, <laughs> Gingy. I can never pay attention to who I'm reading. I just see the message. Cameron doesn't have a beard. Cameron has a fucking baby face. I grow a beard, but it ends up being just like a couple of hairs that make me want to cry. It's like, it's like, it's like I look at my face. And my two hairs are just like, girl, yeah, we're men! And then everybody else is like, hi, oh, you're a baby. I'm bad, I'm bad at keeping track yeah, of who's saying what, Jim G. Duh, Brad, 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 Duh, Brad. Brad, 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 Brad. Echo, echo time, echo. fix. I have facial hair, motherfucker, hair and I'd hair. prove it if I could show my nipples on Twitch, because I'm not wearing a shirt right now. Yeah, you'd get banned instantly. You'd get banned for saying worse. Or for saying far less, I'm sorry. I feel like I have said enough to get banned on Twitch. It just never happens. Yeah, I know, Gingy. It's Brad, not me. Don't, don't How am I echoing? My mic is off. You're not echoing now, but you were. It's called stream delay, Brad. <laughs> um, I don't get stream delay. I tell stream delay to fuck off. What the fuck was I? Oh, I have to post the code. Duh. Code is in chat when you're ready, Brad. I'm well, drilling when there's more people because we only got. Makes you... Go ahead, Brad. We. Go ahead, Brad. I said I'll join when we got more people. We only got two people in chat right now. Okay, we'll join anyway. See, that's just me, like code for talk, like me saying that my game is still downloading. I see. Got it. All right, I'll go public for now then. And my mic is loud enough, right? This fucking OBS catcher always scares me because it looks at the audio weird. I don't know. It seems quieter than it was fucking an hour ago in terms of the actual audio waves. Wow, Cameron must be really delayed. I said that shit like two minutes ago. Why did somebody leave? Yeah, I'm ready for a Twitch mod writer to be like, yo, why did you say this? And then you're gonna be like, I didn't say that except like two years ago. Your, your stream is like really delayed. My favorite, my favorite Twitch band so far this year is there was this girl and she was like, she finally like just started like live streaming for a living and she walked away for a few seconds to let, uh, to go get some groceries because her family brought groceries in, right? And her kid accidentally like stumbled into the room and so she got banned. Oof. Yeah, I heard about that actually. Yeah, That's fucked. That. Yeah, cause like it's okay. It's like against the rules unless uh, to be like so young on the platform unless you're accompanied by adult, and she wasn't accompanied by the adult, and it wasn't even like the streamer's fault. Yeah, that's dumb. It would be like, to me, that's like the equivalent. This is like super extreme, but like it would be like the equivalent of someone swatting me and then getting banned because someone swatted me. I don't get how fucking every public game I click on is filled immediately 
But when I make a fucking public game, nobody joins. Because you don't have, like, some really stupid name that appeals to four-year-olds. <laughs> I guess that's true. And there goes Brad. Wait, no, he's back. I don't know why it kicked me off. I blame Peg for this so bad. Can you hear me? Yes. We need to start referring to Peg as like this like third entity that we used to know but don't know anymore. There's still one show where I go by Peg. Why? And what is it? Um, it's the Let's Play slash stream show I do with my friend. And it's called The Peg and Dazu Show because we used to have a dedicated channel. But we don't use it anymore, but we thought the name was catchier than our new names together. So it's still the Peg and Dazu Show. You know what I want you to be, Peg? What? You know how Gordon Ramsay has Kitchen Nightmares? Yes. We need you to get so popular and like so like good at podcasting where you could do a podcast called Podcast Nightmares where you go around the country and try to help movie <laughs> podcasters become professional. That fucking Asterios Coconos, uh, semi-popular online comedian, did that to one of my podcasts, uh, the show The MoCast that I do with my friends Mo and Robin. He came on it and he fucking like tried to like teach us to be better at podcasting I'm just imagining like a Gordon Ramsay type fella going what do you talk about on your podcast Snail racings? Bloody snail racings? I'd listen to a snail racing podcast. What do you mean? And then him just like, you just hear him breaking shit in the background of his mic. Bullshit! Alright, well if anybody brings me up, I'll talk, but I have no idea what happens. I, I was watching, what's it called? Kitchen Nightmares? Because I was bored. And it's he, he, he comes into this kitchen, right? And then the dude serves him like some really garbage food, right? Because it's kitchen nightmares. And then he goes, you know what? You know what? Can you make a boiled egg? I want him to make me a boiled egg. Right? So the chef makes him a boiled egg, and it's raw in the middle. Cameron, don't shit on Brad. He's a mom man, you. What did he say? He said, does this guy think he's funny? Question mark. No, I think I'm a loser. That's like my thing. I'm just this loser. Cameron, just know that I've met people that have, that share your name that are really bad. Shut up, Cameron. <laughs> oh, White's gonna get voted out immediately. He's gone. It's over. Who the fuck voted for Light Blue? Why did that happen? Light blue didn't do shit. That vote should have been unanimous for white. Because white's a fucking idiot. Where's my reactor task? There it is.
Here's gonna be white, dark blue, dark blue. I'm voting white again. This is fucking stupid. Here's the plan, mate. Okay? Okay. You become an imposter, yes. but you don't kill anyone. I see. Good plan. That way, that, that way, that way, they vote other people out. And what, then you just kill someone at the end? Yes. Good plan. Solid plan. Don't see any problems with that. Don't see any way they could circumvent that. It's like Pokemon, but stalling. I, okay. I suppose, in a way. Like, I don't really win a lot as imposter because I suck as imposter, but like, I feel like every game that I've won as imposter, I killed a person, and then like two people like started arguing with each other, and they couldn't like get off each other's ass to look at other people. What the fuck is white doing? Why? Who the fuck? If it's not dark blue, I'm kicking somebody's ass. Oh, it was dark blue. Listen, man. White's just trying to do his tasks. Leave him alone. It was dark blue, actually. Oh, it was a troll. It was a troll op. It must have been. How did I ruin Pokemon for you? When I beat you up? When I kicked your fucking ass? When I fucking stomped you to the dirt and fucking slapped you? What the fuck? This is fucking ridiculous. Oh, no card swipe. Alright, what are my actual tasks? Fix wiring. Doodle do. Doodle do. Doodle do. Hey, now what, Gingy? We all, we all know Cameron's feelings on the fucking yellow fucker. The yellow little fuck. This is absurd. <laughs> Make a competitive team then, you fuck. You don't even know how to play competitively. Oh, I don't switch Pokemon. I don't use stat moves. <laughs> you were humiliated in front of at least three people. This is fucking absurd. Someone join the fuck Jesus. Hello, Ray.
red star. Wow, Cameron, what a funny joke. You're so fucking funny. I wonder if they're gonna say start. Wow! I wonder if they're gonna say start. Fuck, I guess. People who say fucking... S people who just spam start are so fucking annoying. It makes me want to kick them immediately. But then I'll never get anyone. Because everyone who fucking plays this game is like, start, start, start. I'm fucking like five. And I'm like, no, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck you. Oh boy. Oh god. What the fuck? Well, that's probably why it takes you a long time to get players, Cameron. Why the fuck? Voting red if no good reason. Hello, Jinji. Hey, are you uh, gonna get that admin swipe? I, I did not, because uh, somebody called an emergency meeting. Cameron, I will fucking beat you in Pokemon again. I can beat you with the Delibird again, Riley. Jinji, you shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jinji, Jinji, cool thing. Uh, cool thing that I uh, did. I'll, I'll for sure win this fight. I have a black Huram, and all Jinji has shut is a piece of mouth. shit Santa Bird. Okay, anyway. Jinji, cool thing. Right? I brought back something that was part of my channel a long time ago, but I just never updated it and they came outdated. I now have mod commands, which is where if you type a, if you type an exclamation point in the name of a mod, a, f a funny little joke thing comes up. So go ahead and put mean? exclamation mark Jinji and see what comes up. You're going to have to teach me how to do that then. Ha. Uh... <laughs> is it random uh no i wrote them i just wrote like little jokes about each mod i did that a long time ago back when my mods were like the fucking old ass michael the pokemon crew but i haven't uh, updated them since so every time someone types exclamation point Jinji, it'll always say get good i got rid of fake mod and there's none for you because you're not a mod let's try it again yep It'll always say get good? Yes. Okay. What is the uh, game code, by the way? Uh, well, I'll tell you once I'm done with this current match. And plus, I think the code's already in, uh, fucking, uh, looking for people. I think this is still the same game. What, EBQPGF? Yes. Thanks for saying it out loud when I have it censored on stream so we don't get steam snipers. Whoops. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Man, did you see the uh, picture that I posted in the Pokemon Go Hub, I want to say day before yesterday? Uh, no. What'd you post? Well, I was doing a Ho-Oh raid with both of my accounts. Because, you know, I can split screen the shit. And, you know, obviously, I, I beat the Ho-Oh no problem, but both of the oh, Ho-Ohs in the, the capture ho -Oh. screen were shiny. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna have a no comment to that, Riley. I know that's right up your alley. What, the murder your dick thing? I was about to say, hey, Cameron, I don't swing that way. I, well, you just said you're coming out of the closet, dude. The, what, I, the, and I support you if that's who you are. Jinji, that sentence did not come out of my mouth. I don't know why you're making things up. Well, I would imagine it hasn't come out of your mouth yet because you have too much shit in your mouth. 
Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> That's really funny, Jinji. You're a funny guy. I like to think I am. Thank you. Also, did you create this server? Yes. Interesting. Why do you think all the mods are people that I know? <laughs> well, what's the blue thing? Like crewmate? Then crewmate is stuff? mod. Crewmate is mod. Uh, imposter is uh, owner, so me. And sus is like everybody. Everybody has sus. It's like the default role. Ah. Wait, who are we voting for? Brown. Rude. Oh, whatever. What the fuck? And now you see, instead of leaving the game like a toxic cuck, I'm gonna go do my ghost tasks. Fucking public servers. Jesus Christ. You better fucking call emergency meeting and vote brown. Thank you. Lol. I also forgot I was black when I said brown then black because I'm so used to being orange. I saw that people were sussing black and I didn't even realize it was me. I just did my usual thing of yeah, vote the guy who's accusing and then vote who he accused if he's not the imposter. Okay, whatever brown. At least I got a, a rest in peace from Jordo. I appreciate I appreciate the respect. Cameron, I hope there's not some uh, connotations there. And Cameron, if you use your fucking context clues, I think you'll realize why you weren't invited to the server that I specifically made for doing a streams of games. Ooh, Borderlands 3 is $10 via Target. Interesting. I know when I fucking get paid on Tuesday. I haven't told Silas this yet. This is, um, this is granted he doesn't already know the whole plot, which is possible because he has been on the internet. But if he doesn't, if he isn't completely spoiled on Danganronpa, buy Danganronpa 1 and 2 on his PS4. And so, and so we can stream it for the Peg and Dazu show. Oh, it was blue. Damn. Okay, are visual tasks on? Yeah, visual tasks are off, which that is true. Confirm ejects should not be off, you fucking cuck. Hello, Gingy. Julian? That's not the same Julian. And Julian's gone. Birdman squad. I miss Julian. <laughs> I'll be Birdman Squad. Bird Mask Squad. The Danganronpa collection is like 20 bucks, Cameron. Your dumb energy drink bullshit was like 50, wasn't it? What dumb energy drink bullshit? There was some deal where if I bought him some like dumb energy drink he was sponsored by, he'd stop streaming Fortnite for a month. Because I got annoyed that he would play Fortnite on stream all the time. And because he, because you're not in his server, so you don't know he runs votes for what he streams every day. I am in his server. Oh, you are? I didn't know that. But yeah, he he runs uh he runs votes for what he streams every day. And whenever something ties with Fortnite, he always fucking picks Fortnite, every time. Also, I can't find the bird mask. The bird mask is missing. 
then that's weird as fuck because bird mask is still there for me and it's the same as all the halloween crap it's under hats right yes okay there's christmas bullshit this hat normal hats do 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 i'm looking and i don't see it yeah. i am the look i don't see yeah that's weird that's weird as hell because bird mask is still there for me See, I'll look at hats and yeah, I see Chris. Here, go go back to your mask again. I, I'm watching your stream now. I okay. mean, I still have to let you pull. So you oh shit! The, uh... I click start instead of computer. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be quick. If the imposter is you, just tell me and we'll fuck with them. It totally is. Are you imposter? Yes. Oh shit, okay. Well, I'll pull some fucking troll ops if somebody accuses you. Even though I know you probably won't cooperate with me and you'll just walk in and kill me. I'm a sneaky snake. Well, let's both vote white then. <laughs> I'm just gonna, just for good measure, po post it was white, lol. Self-report? <laughs> he did it right in front of you! <laughs> I must have waited. How is that? Uh, electric. Oh no, who's the imposter? Did you, sa did you sabotage the lights? Yes. Okay, so maybe he didn't actually see it happen. I was like, he was right the fuck in front of us. Trump 2020. The only time I <laughs> vote for Trump. <laughs> He's gonna leave. He's gonna leave the game. He's gone. Oh no, he wasn't the imposter. It Yay! doesn't say. No way it says Cuphead. Does it say I'm playing Cuphead? I don't know, let me check. Check pixels. Announcements tab. Yep, says you're playing Fuck! God damn it, now my fucking mom has me running for shit. This is fucking ridiculous. Alright, hold on. First of all, let's go to my fucking stream manager. That's the first thing. Wanna hear something that doesn't make you happy? Sure, Jack. <laughs> okay, let me edit. Yep, categories cuphead. Let's change that to Among Us. Oops. Alright, and now I gotta pee and grab some stuff real quick. I'll be back in five minutes. Or less. Gingy, entertain the stream. 
If you're still here, I don't I don't remember if you said you left. No, I'm still here for the moment. Okay, well, uh, tell the stream an interesting story while I'm gone. I am about to deal with the small child. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, tell the stream a story until you have to leave to deal with small child. No, I'm, like, I'm literally about to leave now, and then I will be back as soon as I get him to sleep. Okay, we'll see you then. Yep. And I will be right back, everybody. I have returned. There might be a hum because my door is open and I know that fridge hum is obnoxiously loud. Yep, I can see it capturing very slightly. Couldn't find the game you're looking for, okay. Let's just find public games for a while, because it seems like nobody's actually going to join. Why did why did somebody revert your stuff on the wiki, Jack? Also, since nobody's actually playing, you can join the VC if you want. Just join the server and join the VC I'm in. Unless, sudden, miraculously, nine people want to play. <laughs> Yeah, I saw it, Jag. Why do you fucking revert your shit? Let's join the cute girl server. 
I mean, you can. I don't even know what I am. Am I good? Yes, I am good. I am a good boy. Whoa! Gotta go fast! Ah, shit. Somebody dealing with that one, I assume. Make sure that's all said and done. Nobody's dealing with that one! What the fuck? Hello, Jack. Okay, everything's fine now. Hey, <clears throat> how you doing, buddy? Typing my fingers, typing my fingers away, trying to rework the ship. Just finished out in the exos exosuit article. Now, hopefully this time this ship won't get reworked. If it do, it'll be very fucking pissed. Took me forever to ride this shit. Do you have, uh, sources, Jack? Do you have credible... <laughs> credible yeah, sources? The, yeah, my sources are the fucking YouTube videos. Literally all the three seasons are on YouTube, so I can fuck... I just fucking credit the, the YouTube channel there. From, from the episodes you told me about, at, at the very least the season you were talking about does not sound very good. Oh, you think? <laughs> I mean, I already told you that I don't like this the Dino season, mostly because the this the suits looks the the suits look really good, but the villains looks looks terrible. The plot is really fucking weak. There's questionable kinks there. Oh, and Jack, I have I have funny little mod commands now. So if you tap if you type exclamation point Jack in the chat, something will happen. All right, let me open Twitch again. Let me double check. Wait, who are we voting for? Okay, exclamation mark, Jack. I'm skipping. I don't know what the fuck you guys are doing. I'm not meaning for stand though. You DM me about it all the time. I mean, I told you the stuff I like about it, but there are lots of things I don't like about it. Y'all really... Though this is why Public Among Us servers piss me off. I didn't get angry enough in the fucking Largest Issue episode because I had other shit to do, so I had to rush. But fucking, all they said was, Yellow was near. And then every fucking person voted for Yellow. I don't play Among Us anymore, so I don't, I don't really care. Though, I think Well, I'm streaming most... Among Us, so I had to at least talk about what's happening a little bit, Jack. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> I mean the the most accurate thing for me would be like I'm a Disney era stand, but not a mini force stand though. Well if it upsets you so much I'll change it. No, it doesn't upset me, I'm just uh something I think would be more accurate. I mean keep it that way, I don't right. really care. Somebody else fix it. I can't fucking fix it. Oh, we all died. <laughs> Unfortunate. <F. laughs> okay. I mean, I mostly just learned more about Mini Force, mostly because I'm needing to write the the wiki, fucking fixing the stupid articles. I mean, there's literally like nine articles about seasons that doesn't even exist, and they mention uh, Power Rangers like directly. Is Mini Force worth watching, like, legitimately? <laughs> sort of. I mean, Season X is really good, but Season uh, season 1 is like, it's good, it has some nice ideas, but it barely does anything with it. Season X looks really fucking nice and has actually some really good fight scenes. Season 3 is really questionable. I mean, I like the dinosaur suits and the exo suits, like, it's a neat idea, but... I mean, 
there's literally a whole episode dedicated to farts. Jesus Christ. What is it with weird fetish shit in, like, weird seasons of cartoons? Like, there's this shit... You probably don't care about this, but I'm just mostly telling the story for the stream. Thinking of fetishes in cartoons, the fucking... Season 2 of the fucking George of the Jungle cartoon that for some reason came out, like, 12 years after the first season and has almost nothing to do with the first season. There's that one episode where they fucking cannibalize these weird bug people and the girl character's ass grows really big when she eats the bugs. Excuse... Excuse <laughs> the fuck me? <laughs> the plot of the episode is that there's these talking, like, worm bugs, and she realizes that when she eats them, it makes her smarter. So she eats them, and as she eats them, she, like, gets all gross and deformed, and her ass God grows. fucking damn it. <laughs> Hold on. I, I gotta talk to uh, the mod of this wiki, because somebody just fucking reverted my shit again. God damn it. Okay, where is she? I mean, I think it's a she, I don't know. Somebody Whatever. fucking start. What the fuck? For some for some reason, I really like it. I really enjoy listening to Sentai music while I edit this shit. I mean, Sentai music is pretty good. I was listening. I was listening to the Geki Ranger uh, intro. I don't remember the Geki one. It's really good. Uh, hold on, I gotta fucking think of what I'm gonna say to. Even though I ha I have such like a. I have this biased beef against the Jungle Fury. I'm sure I've told you that story several times. Yeah, you told me. And um, I've highly considered. I'm watching all the Power Rangers seasons in order, and I'm highly considering just watching Geki Ranger when I get to Jungle Fury. <laughs> Both are really good, though. Okay, is this game ever going to start? And, and before somebody tells me how much of a fucking hypocrite I am, uh, it makes sense to be annoyed at them not starting when this when the lobby is full. When people tell you to start on seven, that's what's annoying. What the fuck is going on here? All right, I'm leaving. This is bullshit. But yeah, I guess I gotta fucking pick up my Power Ranger binge watching, because I don't know if you've heard the news. Who's getting removed it might, from? It Netflix. might not affect you. I think it might be. No, the it, US. Will, it does affect me, though. Oh, is it, are they doing it to your country, too? Yep. Hold on, let me think of what I'm gonna say to this. Cause for I'm some reason, the mod refused. For ahead. some reason, the, the mod refused to add me on Discord so I can fucking talk to her quickly. So I'm. I gotta use the sluggish uh, message thing. Alright, find game. We're in, boys. I think. <laughs> I think we're in. Um, alright, we're just gonna, yeah, leave game. Well, whatever, if, if I mean, if this, I mean, if this, if this shit doesn't get fixed, I'm likely just gonna give up on this wiki, out of just oh, fucking well, frustration. Well, at least I see my character this time, but everything else is pitch black, I don't know what's happening. Just a little chibi. Also, I kind of find... But I also kind of find frustrating how this season highlights has like six really de really well designed swords, but they never use them. Like the 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 Tyrannal car thing, despite being kind of weird, it looks kind of cool in uh, Mecha mode. The Pterosaur sword looks really fucking great in both uh, transport mode and robot mode. <coughs> Are the Excuse servers me. fucked? Because it can't be my internet. 
because I'm still live and I'm still VCing with Jack. So what's going on here? Did you hear what I, what I talked? What I said? What the swords? I'm trying to listen to you, but I also have to keep one headphone off because I have to listen for stupid bullshit my mom needs me to do. So I only half heard you. Repeat yourself and I will listen closely this time. I was complaining about how the Zords in Season 3 has Season three has some really look, great looking Zords, but they never do anything with them. Like, they, they have like a, a, Tyr a Tyrannosaurus, which, which is also a race car thingy. Which <laughs> oh, that's kinda, awesome! It's kind of dopey, but I, I really like the, the mecha mode on it. It has like a, a more traditional Zord, which is a, a Pterosaur. Plus a jet fighter, which looks great in both, but with looks great in both sword mode and mecha mode. It has like a, a prehistoric, prehistoric, uh, prehistoric warrior sword thingy, which with which also mounts a, a triceratops sword. Holy shit! And their shit. Co their combined fo the combined mode looks really great. They has a have a stegosaur sword, which has, looks great in both. Uh, Zord mode and mecha mode. They also have a, a black Carnosaurus and a yellow. I don't know what is, but it, I'm gonna call it Drago just because it has like the same uh, head thingy from the white Dino Thunder. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna DM this this to you. Just okay. For. Oh, they also have a, a Brachiosaurus sword, which turns into true uh, mm, tiny swords. Alright, I'll be right back. Uh, Check her DMs. Okay.
Yeah, those all look pretty good. Yeah, and there's but they need to stay barely use them. That sucks. <laughs> I want to see more of those. I mean, in, they used them like sometimes during season one, but uh, the first half of uh, season three. But then on the second half, they just forget them and just start using uh, exosuits. Like the gimmick of the season is like they have like uh, tiny dinosaur mountings, and then they become uh, exosuits. Hold on, let me find a pic. Send you a picture of that. Well, I'll be a little delayed looking at the pictures because the game is actually up again. It was broken for a minute, but it's back. Oh, as long as you got to see them. If you get to 10 and you're not clicking the start button, why? Unless you say in chat, this is why, then I don't get it. Uh-oh, Bubbles had an error. I want to be imposter, what the fuck? Why do I keep getting crew bait? I want to fuck with people. So, going back to the jungle theory topic thing, uh -huh. I mean, you can't really go wrong with watching either of those, but on my opinion, like, uh, Jungle Fear is kind of, it's the better season, mostly because it adds so much new stuff. Like, it adds, like, uh, three new rangers, it adds, like, some new concepts. Also shows a lot of uh, original footage. Like you mean American footage? Yeah, American footage. We all know how I feel about that American footage. It's my favorite thing in the world. Yeah, and see, uh, Jungle Fury also actually has a lot of those. Good, good. Although I thought the Disney I mean, seasons the, the, didn't the, have a lot of those because their budgets were ass. I mean... Sorta, of, but not really. I mean, SPD has had like some uh, original footage. Dino Thunder, Dino Thunder, and Ninja Storm didn't have any. Uh, RPM had like some. Well, Dino Thunder knowledge... definitely had some because there were like you know there was the there's the time. Oh yeah, shit, right the the time the time one. But I mean, sorta, of, but I I don't know. I count the you know, whatever. Forget it. Oh, I got it. But forget to say anything. Though, from my knowledge, like, Jungle Fruit had the most original footage, mostly because of the new Rangers. Out of the Disney seasons. Yeah, out of the Disney seasons, because it had, like, a lot of, a lot of, uh, new I was Rangers. like, I like, think we all know what had the most. <laughs> yeah, Mighty Morphin. I do wonder which had more out of two and three, though. I think likely three, because of the, like... The original, the new vehicles and stuff. Oh, well, yeah, because season two also used a lot of the G2 stuff, which isn't really American footage, so. Yeah, Z2 and I Ranger, Z, uh, they, 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 there wasn't any Z3. But did you know that the, the Shark Circles aren't original? Uh, yeah, they're from the, they're from Kaku Ranger. Kaku Ranger. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't know that about, about them until recently. Frankly, I, I, the only thing I'm not a fan of, of from uh, Jungle Fury is the suit designs, but, I mean, the standard suit designs look, look, you know, they look really weird to me, but when they get the they do look master, weird. but the, well, the, their second farm looks really good, though, their master mode looks really good. I suppose. I can't fucking walk in this game, controlling shit with the mouse is hard. I also need to frankly, switch. Jared. frankly, I think, frankly, I think you should just start playing uh, Unfortunate Spaceman. You know, it's the better. I probably don't have the computer mode. for Unfortunate Spaceman, and plus, I'm not really a fan of it from what you've told me. It seems a little I mean, too complicated. The draw of Among Us but is not... it's a simple, fun multiplayer Sorta, party but game. not really. But I mean, it's sorta complicated, but not really. I mean, it just. It's deeper than Among Us, like, 
Uh, I don't think Among it really like, needs re to be deep, though. That's my thing. I like this game because it's simple. <laughs> simple games can be good, too, Jack. And not everything has to be deep. Florida, but not really. I mean, I can't get behind, like, some simple games, but I don't know. I kind of like some flair onto my games. Sometimes something is simple, but yet it works so well. Whatever, I'm not, I'm not gonna discuss this with you. Jack! <laughs> you don't want to discuss anything! You get in my call during a stream and I try to have an interesting discussion about a stream. I mean, I, I don't want to dis <laughs> discuss this about because we, it will be like me and uh, Scott, uh, Scott next, last night. Discussing like uh, baby uh, baby Yoda or Gogur, which was the correct way to say, and we went in circles just for like for an hour. That's funny. I'd love to have that kind of conversation on my stream. Cause it's... yeah, but it gets stale. I don't like having stale conversations. I mean, it's like it's like uh, the same thing also happened to me with Scott when we were discussing the. The three new zords added to Mighty Morphin, like this, uh, the the Plesio and the Shit. two others I forgot. Sorry, I, I think died. it was a Plesio, uh, was a Plesiosaur, a Stegosaur, and the third I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, you showed me them. I don't remember what dinosaurs they were, but I vaguely remember what they look like. Yeah, but uh, yeah, and me and Scott just went in circles discussing that because it was like it's so necessary. But I mean, yeah, it's so necessary, but it's it's good. It's something new. It's not. It's not just milking and I uh, imagine, nostalgia. I imagine they're going to come up in the comics in some way. I don't think they'd make new MMPR swords and only use them Likely, for likely. I mean, it was like, yeah, but just, yeah, but the whole point is that it's for to sell, sell toys. And I mean, isn't that the whole point of Power Rangers, though? Isn't this whole thing just like a glorified toy commercial? Yeah, finally I'm the imposter. Yes, I get to fuck with people. But yeah, it is a whole big toy commercial, as was a lot of things in the 90s. Yeah, that's not a real valid point. <laughs> and then we were just went in circles, like, and we just went in circles about that, like, for hours. Still kind of worried about the Power Rangers fate after Dino Fury. Frankly, my biggest gripe on it is just about uh, just how like it's being made by the same people that made Peppa Pig, and that really fucking concerns me. Gets me worried. worried. Yeah, I don't know, but we don't know quite whether they're actually going to cut ties with Toei or not. We don't have any official word on that. No, they, I mean, Hasbro already announced the uh, animated series about Power Rangers. They did. Which is made by this. They did. They when? Did. How did Hold I on, not fucking hear the... about this? You did hear the, about that. I told you that before. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. How late at the, in the night was it, Jack? <laughs> Likely. <laughs> Likely very late, as usual. That's probably I why I don't up. remember. But I did bring that up uh, on, like, uh, mod chat. Hold on, let me just... Here's the link I sent you that, that time. They did that on Festival of Licensing. Who'd they license to? Oh, it's the, it's like a festival like where you announce new stuff you're gonna do. Oh, you said it like was you're... a licensing announcement. I was like, who the no, fuck did No, Festival they of to? Licensing. It's the name of the, the convention. I see. 
I mean, if they if they use the Mega Battle game uh, uh, art style, I think that looks okay. If they're gonna, they better fucking... fucking not. I will. That's fucking Flash game level bullshit. It's horrible. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. I kind of like it, but I mean, if they're gonna just milk milk some some more nostalgia bu uh, bonus from my my Morphin. Whatever, milk nostalgia bonus. The, you just say that because you're a fucking Disney stan. They got it right with Mighty Morphin, so it makes sense that they're going to go to an animated format. I where they don't can... fucking... Look, the thing is, I don't like how they milk the same thing over and over. It's be like, a fucking decade, stop it already. Why do they keep putting I, I see... Superman in Justice League? I don't get it. It's not the same. It's not the same thing. You <laughs> fucking dumbass. And Superman isn't in, in the. And Superman isn't, isn't even on all Justice Leagues. Like, like they they're not on uh, Young Justice. They had despite they Young had Young Justice is a different thing entirely. It's a not fucking... really because it's not really because it's, it's a sub, it's a subsection of uh, Young the, the Justice, Justice is a fucking Teen Titans show more than it is a Justice League show. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about canonically, though. It, 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 it's a subsection of the Justice League. And I mean, I'd be, I'd be just as pissed if they keep milking, uh, like, the Disney area. Like, if, it have, if, if, if we have, like, a shit ton of, uh, of uh, Dino Thunder merchandise and stuff from, like, for, for, like, ages, I'd be just as mad. No, it's because every time they make something new, they fuck it up, so I'd rather them milk a good season. It doesn't have to be Mighty Morphin. It could be fucking Dino Thunder. It could be SPD. Just pick something where you actually did it good and continue to but do that. <laughs> the thing is, that, that kind of mentality is, is why we have, like, a like that kind of mentality is why we have, like, 80 Marvel movies that, that all play the fucking thing. That are thing. all good, mostly. Yeah, but they're all the fucking... They're all the same, though. They're not, they're not good, but they're not bad either. It's just... Just flavor. It's like mush. All of... I know you don't agree with me, but I think all of the Mighty Morphin series is good. Everything I've seen out of the comics is pretty good. I don't think I they've don't, fucked up Mighty don't think Morphin my Marf, at all. I don't think Mighty Morphin is bad. The thing is, for, I know it's good, but try something new for a change. They do! They come out with a new thing every year, Jack! Okay, how about, how about this? listen to me, listen to me. Okay. Instead of making yet another Mighty Morphin rehash for the animated show, why not fucking animate Hyperforce, which is which is just as big as Mighty Morphin. It has just as great as a fan base. It's just as good. That's not but true. It's, it's okay, it, it, it might be just as good, but it doesn't have as big of a fan base. I guarantee that. Yeah, whatever. It has like a, a mediocre fan base, whatever. A but mediocre the thing is, fan base. That's, that's. I mean, I, I mean, mediocre. Is, I mean, mediocre. Mediocre means me, yeah, medium. It's like unfair, <laughs> standard. It's not bad. I I suppose I get what you mean then. Like instead of like rehashing Mighty Morphin for like Mighty Morphin season four, the animated series, why not making why not making a Hyper Force the animated show, which is like a big anniversary anniversary season. It goes all over the place. There's fucking uh, endless possibilities to, do, to take the series on. Like you can add several new rangers. That doesn't need to be the uh, hyperforce ones. Like you can add like uh, uh, money morphin, uh, orange and, and purple. You can add uh, the the unused uh, frozen rangers from about Ab ranger. That's interesting. Um, for me. I don't, again, I don't really mind Mighty Morphin because, you know, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fucking fix it. Because, but I yeah, because you're a Mighty Morphin stan. You're a Mighty Morphin stan. I am a Mighty Morphin stan. I'm a Zordon era stan in general, which is why I know what I want out of a Power Rangers animated series, and the moment I say it, you're going to be like, fuck no. <laughs> Let me guess, you want Mighty Morphin Season 4, the animated no. series? No. <laughs> Mighty Morphin Season 4 is Zeo, and that's my favorite season of the fucking show ever. <laughs> I mean, my, I mean, Zero is technically a standalone season. So it, it is a really standalone season, but it continues from the story of Mighty Morphin, and it's great. Sort of, but, sort of, but it's self-contained. What it doesn't do you mean, really... sort of? It's a direct sequel. It the picks up from where Mighty Morphin left off, like literally I... seconds later. 
actually it, it ends it ends where Alien Rangers left yes, off. Yes, Alien Rangers is part based on everything except Netflix. Alien Rangers is just the last ten episodes of season three. I mean, I'd say like season three point five though. Yeah, that's what I consider it. But still, it's still Mighty Morphin. They're still picking up from right where Mighty Morphin left off. I guess. But still, uh, I watched Zero recently, and like, I I think it could use like more references to the past, like, fucking more than just uh, Rita Repulsa showing up like for a, for a couple of episodes. Yeah, it is weird how Zed and Rita really only got involved for a little bit. Like, they kind of disappeared for most of it. I mean, they just they just appear and then they just just disappear. I think one of my most disappointing things about Zio is the fact that they um. I hadn't seen it in a long time, so I didn't realize how little they used the bit. But the fact that for, like, 99% of the episodes where Rito and Goldar were fucking Vulcan Skull's butlers, they didn't even appear. Uh, I really wish yeah. they did more with that. Yeah, and after they re regained their memory still, which was, like, very abrupt, abrupt. I kind of wish they did more stuff with them, too. Frankly, I'm not a big fan of, like, comedy characters on Power Rangers. I think you already know my stance on the the two brothers from Beast Morphers. Oh, of course. I mean, the no comedy character will ever get it as good as Bulk and Skull. I really because I really didn't like Bulk and Skull that much. What? I did it. I I found their scenes like to fucking mind on me and like they did. They just take away from the the action. Just. They they just like uh like they they're following I think, their own I think me and you like Power Rangers for very different reasons. You see it yeah, as like a, you see it as like a legitimate action superhero show. I see it as a cheesy sitcom disguised as a superhero show, and I fucking love yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that that's how I see it. But I mean, I watch Power Rangers for the the plot. I, I like I watch <laughs> the, action, the plot. I like the, I like the plots. Okay, some of the plot is good. I, I'm I'm not gonna actually make fun of you too much for that, but it's just it's just the cliche of I watched this for the plot that made me laugh. That that is it though. As oh, much as I know cliche, you watch it for the plot. I know. As much as that cliche, that's true though. I like I like the plot. I like the plot I like, too. I like how the Green with Evil is like just a basically me a, a mini series. Uh, Filled to the top with a uh, plot, like it has something to do. It's doing it. I like how Zed's arrival like changed things up. It's like changed the dynamic dynamics, and actually just do something with the plot. And those are all Mighty Morphin, so I'm happy to hear you say these things. Yeah, as, as I said, I I think Mighty Morphin is a good season, but I don't like how they it's being milked to, to death. It's not a bad season I by any means. I think can do more with it. It's the, if they were only doing Mighty Morphin and that was the only content they were making, perhaps that complaint would stand true. But they're still making seasons of the show. Mighty Morphin is only getting milked through comics and toys right now. I find that mind-numbing. Like, any kind of milking is bad than milking. My, and also, my it's not being I... milked... There's a difference between milking something and making good things out of something for money when you're milking something you're usually making a shitty product the comics from what i've seen are fucking great they're them are really good like i like some of it i, I started off like the mini arc series with the all new mighty morphin Power rangers like that that arc is like really fucking bad and cringy i don't know how that got approved i, I hope so i hope somebody got fired for that blunder wait which... like <laughs> <laughs> okay, good reference. First of all, second of all, what are you, what arc are you talking about? Uh, the all new Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The the one with, the one where the the Red Ranger is a uh, a black female woman, but that's about it. Oh, I like, haven't I haven't heard of that one. I thought you were talking about the arc that. where they all switch colors. <laughs> no, the, that arc that arc's actually pretty funny. I, I I actually wanted that to happen on a on a proper show. I could see that happening, but. I'm talking about the all new Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Hold on, I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna send it to DM. All right, I'm I'm getting tired of playing the game, so we're just gonna take a little like ten to twenty minute break from the game, and this is gonna be the the Among Us title screen podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, just me rambling about uh, just me rambling about Power Rangers. But I'm talking about this squad. Okay. Like the only thing they have going for is that they have like a, a red woman, red ranger. 
a black red Roman Reign, a black woman who's the Red Ranger. I got it. And but they have very little. They have very, very little else though. Like okay, they only you say they're only there. Okay, so I, get like, what you're I, I I don't think like having a black female character as the Red Ranger is a bad thing, but at least do something with her. They don't okay, do anything. But what do they do? Like, are the other rangers different Nothing. too? Nothing. These new characters. No, yeah. The, uh, aside of the pink rangers, who's Kimberly? They're all new characters. Oh, I know what art you're talking about. I read about no, that. I'm, no, it's not Beyond the Green. Beyond the Green is uh, like another no, thing. No, 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 no. It's the arc where fucking Kimberly... Isn't it in France? And, like, Kimberly has to, like, fucking... It's France. It's France. It's yeah, in France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's after season three. Yeah, I know what arc you're talking about. Yeah, but this arc, they, it has nothing going for it. Like, they do absolutely nothing. Uh, they don't have a proper villain. Uh, inter uh, an interesting villain, at, l at least. They don't have, like, proper swords. Like, they they don't have anything. They just, they just show up there and, like fight some buddies but that's about it alright so anyway my concept for a Power Rangers animated series and it's not Mighty Morphin don't don't shoot me down on the initial pitch okay cause I have details that might sway you from your initial feelings okay Him. I mean I don't think that there's any, a really bad way to do a Mighty, uh, Power Rangers animated season like <laughs> at, like at, at worst at worst it's like you know like the Elsa gate thing like they also what, getting, like the like Elsa and Spider-Man videos? Yeah, yeah, that that's what I'm talking about. At worst, you can do that. At best, you can do like mini force, which is I like. As much as I give it shit, like I don't like most of it. It it is a pretty solid show. It could actually work as a Power Ranger show if like they had changed some things around. But otherwise, it's either that or her, or it's either one or the other. It's either Elsa Gate or it's mini force. All right, first of all, I do really want to say, this is not my idea, but I just want to say in general, like, realistic hopes, I really hope it has a multi-season connected arc, a la the Zordon era, instead of just being I, separate every season. I wouldn't be opposed to that, actually. Like, as long as, like, they change things up, like, they don't use the same suits every Yeah, like, they can change time. the suits every season, like, like I said, like the Zordon era, like, <laughs> you're going from Zeo to Turbo to in space, like, new new suits, new powers, but the same... Or at least some of the same characters, and it's all telling one story. I wouldn't be opposed to that. That's, that actually sounds something like, like, like I, I would enjoy that. But anyway, my actual I, uh, pitch. Like, this is like for a mini series. This wouldn't be able to last more than like, at most like twenty episodes, and that would be stretching it hard. <laughs> okay. So it takes place, and this is where you're gonna stop me. <laughs> Angel Grove. No, in Angel Grove, yes, but it's 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 part of a, a season that already exists. It happens in a season that already exists. It's Mighty Morphin. And it's the first half of Turbo. <laughs> now hear me out on oh. this. <laughs> I actually, I actually don't have any opinions on Turbo, so. Okay, so it's the first half of Turbo, uh, like, right? I, which... I barely started watching though. I like I watched one episode and that's it so far. I, I have no opinions on Turbo so far. So the main problem with Turbo is in the first half. They, they don't connect uh, Zio to Turbo. They don't connect Zio to Turbo well enough, but that's not my main concern. The other, the main concern is the characters of Tommy and Cat are written extremely poorly, and they mm -hmm. don't do enough with the fact that the Rangers are like becoming adults and sort of moving on. They just kind of like mention it in their last episode, and then boom, new teenagers. So, I, I actually that's something that was in kind of my in the back of my mind for a little bit. So my pitch for, like, an animated miniseries, right, is this This concludes a couple of things about the Zordon era that are not... It doesn't have anything to do with the Zeo powers, but perhaps we could come up with an idea to have that come up as well. Frankly, but it, frankly, like, the the, be, the like, frankly, the easiest thing that I could think about, like, of explaining the Zeo powers, like, uh, they're just... Like I'd be the, satisfied with them saying literally the Zeo crystals are just in the Turbo Morphers. These are just upgraded yeah, that's, Zeo that, powers. That's what I, that was about. Uh, what, 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 and then they got destroyed when Divatox destroyed say. the Turbo powers. And then there you go. Yeah, that was a, that was the that was what I was about to say. But that would conflict like so, sort of with the the Master Morpher since uh, the Master Morpher is powered by the Red Zeo crystal. I suppose, but that's comic lore, and the TV show really doesn't have to subscribe to that. 
actually, like, actually, neither of those because it does. They don't explain it on the comics. Like they explain it on an interview with the director of the Dimensions in Danger. Oh, okay. So uh, it is canon to okay. the show. It is canon, it is canon to, the to the show. I thought I thought this was comic lore from the uh, from the no. Soul of the Dragon thing. No, actually, the Soul of the Dragon does does even a poor job, uh, even even more poor job at explaining the mo- the Master Morpher, because like the. The uh, the sort of the dragon thing that the main plot of it it's about how the master morph is broken, but they never explore how how Tommy broke it. Ninja can't fix it, and like nobody can know how how to fix it. Well, I assume it, it was broken in some sort of fucking Power Ranger battle, Jack. If I were to use my thinking cap, <laughs> but like how though? How would how would that happen? Like even so, who fucking did it? <laughs> Who managed to destroy like the most powerful morpher we had so far in this the show? Like it would have at least me like dark specter levels of str- strength. <laughs> it was Goldar. I find it so funny how Beast Morphers builds up Goldar as this like amazing super powerful villain. And then you think back to actual canon where Goldar gets his shit rocked on multiple occasions and the White Ranger actually, literally has to grant mercy upon him. Actually, like, I just watched that episode, like, uh, Making Evil, again, since it, it, the Portuguese dub came out. I was watching it again, but, like, the after the second time I watched, like, the thing I came like, the idea I think they were going for is, like, who would be like a proper villain? Like not in terms of strength, but because he could overpower all of us. He can't be like too evil, so he would like t- try to top us over. And he, he can't be too weak because he would be just a weakling. And he also can't be good. So who would be like that? Go there because one, he's not strong enough to overtop us. Two, he's not evil enough to try and over uh, overthrow us because he's loyal to the cause. And three, he's He's, uh, he's capable of holding himself uh, sort of. But there's also the fact that he eliminates the main villain of a Power Rangers season with one fucking blast. I mean... He fucking executes Sledge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, he can't overtop, uh... He can't overtop, uh, v- Vengex. That's, that's the point. Yeah, that is the, uh, That makes sense. I mean, Sledge... His ledge is like a minion to Vengex, so... Well, he's a mi- minion to Vengex, but he was the main villain in his own season. Which means that fucking... But... That has to mean that the Dino Charge Rangers are pretty fucking weak on the power spectrum. I mean, Sledge was like the villain for like the first half, and then, uh, not, uh... And then it was Heckle, yeah, Heckle and... No, and then it was like not not Zeltrax. I, I refuse to call him uh, Heckle, I just call him, uh... uh, uh, uh Sla- Why Sna- do you refuse uh, to call him Heckle? That's his name! No, no I, 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 was talking of, I was thinking of Snide, because oh. I forgot it's Heckle and Snide. Heckle like, and Snide, I refuse to call, yeah. Like, I call him Heckle and not, uh, not Zeltrax. Heckle and not Zeltrax, it's pretty funny. But, um... Anyway, to go back to my pitch for an animated Power Rangers miniseries, so it's the first half of Turbo, and I feel like the first half of Turbo is very easily fixed if you add a little bit more to it, and this is what this does. So basically, it kind of takes place like vaguely, like shortly before passing the torch, which is the episode where they switch. I mean, it, it actually sounds good, like I wouldn't be opposed to watching that. But, like, in my mind, like, uh, adding to your, your idea, like, it looks like some episodes between Turbo and Zeo, like, explain how, what the hell happened to the Zeo powers. Yeah, explain and what happened like, to the Zeo powers, but... And then have, like, a, a minor time skip, like, right before passing the torch, where Tommy and Kat are, like, discussing what happened, uh, their lives and stuff. Yeah, so, okay, basically, yeah, you could start with Zeo Turbo connection stuff and then time skip over to before passing the torch. And that's where my main also, idea comes in. Also, I think I, I also think like I, I also want some uh, some new stuff from Rocky because I, I, I really feel like I assume like Rocky, Rocky would at least be a minor character in this in this in this yeah, hypothetical th- series. Yeah, he would need to be a minor character because. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, I I feel like Rocky gets way too much shit from the fandom. Ha ha ha! He's a useless uh, Red Ranger. Ha ha! He's 
he just he, be, he gets uh, demoted to being a Blue Ranger. Yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. He's still a good character. Well, know, I mean, way. just because he was a Red Ranger doesn't mean he's a leader. That's the thing that people kind of just don't really understand. Yeah. Is the I White mean, Ranger was the leader in Mighty Morphin. The White Ranger in Mighty Morphin is what the Red Ranger is in every other season. The White yeah, was the leader. The Red Ranger was just another ranger. I don't even think Rocky was supposed to be the second in command. Like I've said many I mean, occasions, they wrote it sort of that Kimberly was the second in command, but they never really also, said anything. Also, the thing is, like, even Jason wasn't the leader anymore after Tommy became him and the Rock Ranger. Well, that was something they changed last minute, which is something I found out, because they changed it because... By the time White Light was actually like going to air, uh, Austin St. John had already left the show. There was still some footage oh. left of him, but he was already gone. So like at the last minute, they wrote in, yeah, Tommy's the leader now, just so they didn't oh. have to explain it later. Okay, then. Okay, so scratch what I said. <laughs> yeah, Jason was supposed to remain the leader, even when Tommy was the right ranger, but then Austin St. John left, so they were like, well, fuck it. <laughs> I also feel like kind of like it would be like a nice, a nice contrast. Like if in Zeo, Jason became the leader back again after he became the Gold Ranger. I don't, that I don't think that would have made sense though, because at that point Tommy had established himself. I don't know. I think it would be a nice contrast still. I don't know. Just something that, I mean, like once once he was like the the, the leader and then Tommy be, uh, joined up and became the leader and then Tommy was the leader and then Jason rejoined and became the leader. I don't know what just. I don't know, just a gimmick. Yeah, it makes sense, but at the same time, Tommy had already been the leader for, like, significantly longer oh. than Jason had been at that point. He had been the leader for, like, almost three years by the point Jason rejoined the team. So, no, the, no not to forget, like, you forever read, like, Jason, uh, Tommy and Jason go far talking, like, uh, Tommy say, like, uh, from an alpha to another, like, I, I don't think we could do this without you. And then Jason's like, I'm not an alpha, I'm an omega. <laughs> But yeah, just I was going to say that um, since with the time between Mighty Morphin Season 2 and Zeo, yeah, Tommy had been a leader for a lot longer, so it made sense for him to remain in that spot. Also, that, now, that I th now that I thought about the, the line now, I it came across like the Omega Ragers from the, the comics. Uh-huh. Is that, could, could the Omega uh, Rangers be created like as a reference to that? Because Jason's like, I'm an Omega, and he was the Red Omega Ranger. That might that might have been a reference. I don't know if they thought that far, but at the same time, it's, it's possible. Okay, uh, continue. But anyway, yeah, to tell about... I, I, I said my piece about Tommy being the leader, but to actually tell like my idea for the Turbo miniseries, right? Is where... Okay, so first of all, yeah, your idea is good, where it starts with a sort of bridge between Zeo and Turbo... Yeah, because the Turbo movie was supposed to be a bridge between Zeo and Turbo and yeah, it's Barry probably like there. it probably could actually like take place like during the Turbo movie, like scenes that we didn't see, like the initial couple episodes, like take place yeah. in the Turbo movie, and then we cut over to uh, nearly before passing the torch, and sort of the plot of it is I only have a really vague plot. I don't have like super details, so perhaps like if like, you or, like, Guac or Jason wanted to, like, give details and we could actually, like, come up with, like, a cohesive plot for this. Basically, the main thing is, so, it's, like, the, the like, civilian plot, like, the non-ranger stuff is mostly them sort of coming to terms with the fact that they have to start actually, their... Now, actually, now that you, now, now that you're saying, like, saying it like that, I think it should, it would work better as a, as a comic. Instead of a, a series, I think it. I think it would work very good as an animated series, though, because then we'd actually get to see the action in motion, and plus they'd probably be able to, considering their the interactions with the fan base and such. If they give them enough money, they could probably get most of the original actors back, if they did a mini series like that. The only people I could really foresee them not getting back is like. Blake Foster. Uh. <laughs> Why Cause, though? Because uh, I think I think Blake Nakia Fo would do it. I think Catherine would do it. I know Jason David Frank would do it. Oh right, because uh, Blake Foster not a kid anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm He's not a say, kid like, anymore, but I do I, I do have a solution for that. So to where Blake? I mean, Foster Blake actually Blake actually wants to come back to Power Rangers. He loves it. Okay, 
I do have an idea for that though. So let me let me explain the vague plot. So the civilian plot is that they're sort of coming to terms with their adulthood and they're realizing, you know, that it's really hard to juggle Power Ranger and adult like a lot harder than it was to juggle Power Ranger in high school. And at the same time, this is one main thing that always irked me about Turbo is no mention of these characters. There's a uh, Bulk and Skull. No, not Bulk and Skull. Bulk and Skull were in Turbo. <laughs> Yeah, they were they were, they were monkeys. They were mon- <laughs> <laughs> I love monkey bunk and skull. That was funny as shit. But <laughs> they, they followed they fo- they followed every teenager. So uh, funny. Teenagers. I love the monkey shit. Just them desperately trying <laughs> they, to prove that they're human. It's the funniest shit. Yeah, they they followed the, every monkey friend uh, wishes to return to monkey, reject humanity. <laughs> Bulk and Skull have rejected humanity and returned to Monkey. They finally did it. Mad lads. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, so the characters that don't get mentioned at all in Turbo that kind of irked you was the, uh, you know, the Zed and Rita crew. They never come up at all beyond that one gag in the movie. So the the Ranger plot is that Zed and Rita finally fucking, like, put their foot down and they're like, if you want a job do- right, done right, you better fucking do it yourself. So Zed and Rita, and like Goldar and Rito, and that that whole band. Yeah, the whole squad. Basically, like the main, the like vague idea I have is like, Zed goes to like a like mostly deserted planet that he's taken over because we know he's taken over a bunch of fucking planets in his day. And he's like, if you, you don't fucking, her? if you don't fucking come here and fight us, we'll just fucking blow shit up. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, which planet are we talking about? Are we talking about Altar? It could be. It, it doesn't really matter. It's just mostly I mean, we're, we're, an abandoned planet that could serve as a battleground is mostly the... Whatever. It could be Altar, too, because then... No, that's kind of... We could we could expand on it, but the main point is just... I mean, Altar is implied to have been, like, uh, ruined by Zed. Okay, I see what you're saying. Since, uh... I mean, it's actually implied in the the movie, the 2017 movie. Well, the 2017 movie is its own separate canon entirely, but... Sort of, but I don't know. I think it could work since, I mean, most of the arc is, like, uh, recycled from My Morphin. Like, uh, the the Zordon arc is kind of the same. But the uh, characters are extremely different. Those aren't... I'm talking about... No, I'm talking about the Zordon. Zordon specifically. There are different characters, but the orange is kind of the same. I suppose. I suppose parts of it could work, but I'd say mostly it's a separate entity. But anyway, so the plot is Zed and Rita are fucking putting. I mean, it doesn't down. have to be one hundred percent though. It doesn't have to be one hundred percent. True. True. Just but, like, just like say Zed during his con- his conquest destroyed Elder. That's it. That's that's all. That's all you need to know. But yeah, Zed and Rita. Okay, here's what I think. I think I kind of, I kind of like have new ideas as I'm talking here. Like they, they, they're balancing like adult life and Power Rangers, and they kind of like approach Demetra and Alpha, mostly Alpha, because obviously Demetra is useless with her stupid question bullshit. Well, she might somewhat come in, but mostly they approach Demetra and Alpha about it, and that's what brings up the actual passing the torch thing, because that's never really, it's never really established why. They're just kind of like, oh, we have to do a thing in a certain amount of time. And then at the end of the episode, it's revealed that they have to switch powers with somebody. And it's never explained why. So I'd imagine it'd be explained in some way where like they're like, yeah, it's sort of traditional for this to come up when rangers reach adulthood. Uh, we can start the power transfer process, but it'll take a while. And then... So the Zed and Rita stuff happens... And they're like, you got to come fucking fight us. And they're like, and the Rangers are like, well, we kind of got to take care of this first. We can't stick new kids with Zed and Rita because they're bad news. Yeah. So I they... mean, it's like, uh, it's like it was, uh, asking a uh, level one character to fight the last boss. <laughs> yeah. So they set out to go into space, but at the same time, Diva Talks has like a monster of the week plot going, like, like a sort of you know, generic, like, you know, the rangers have to fight a monster, stop a detonator. 
but this monster can fuck with people's ages. And this is where, like, I basically just wrote this in, one, because I feel like anything Zordon re- era related has to have, like, a silly side plot. And two, for Blake Foster. So, so Tommy and the others have to launch to space, which means Justin has to deal with this monster alone. And I think you know where I'm going with this. Justin gets aged up by this monster before they can defeat it. And basically, as the, as the Zed and Rita plot goes on, we cut back to Earth sometimes, and we have Justin sort of, like, fighting the monster on his own. And also, like, when the monster disappears, dealing with the fact that he's a fucking adult now. <laughs> also, like, now that you mentioned just Morphin, uh, something, uh, I was discussing this with uh, uh, Lucino uh, last year, uh, last month. Last, last night. Fucking hell, why can't I say Last properly? month. <laughs> <laughs> I meant, like, met last night, whatever. Like, if uh, J- uh, Justin ever come back, comes back as a ranger and he's morphs, like... Instead of, like, staying as an adult, he just uh, devolves into a nine-year-old kid again when he morphs as an adult. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's really good. I like that. <laughs> that would be a nice gag. <laughs> But yeah, so basically that's mostly side plot stuff. I didn't really develop it much. So Justin becomes an adult, and that's sort of the silly side plot that fills up some runtime. And meanwhile, Tommy, Tanya, Adam, and Catherine go to space to fight Zed and Rita. And then we finally... Uh, this is like the main concern I had with the Zed and Rita crew, is the fact that they sort of built up a rivalry between Tommy and Goldar and Mighty Morphin and just, like, never resolved it in any way whatsoever. Because, I mean, Goldar was supposed to be Jason's rival. Well, yeah, but then Jason was gone. Well, even, no, because they did that very briefly, but once Tommy was brought into the mix, even before Jason was gone, when Tommy was the Green Ranger, they wrote Tommy as Goldar's rival. Or I guess... Whatever. It was well. I I understand what you're saying, Jack. And in the beginning of the show, that was the case, yes. But then the writing sort of shifted once the Green Ranger became more of an established part of the plot for him to be, you know, against Goldar, which I think was mostly a change that came into full effect after, you know, Return of not Return of the Green Ranger. That's the season two episode. Uh, Return of an old friend when he got his powers back. I feel like that's when it really made the shift, but even beforehand, they kind of wrote it that way. But anyway, that's a that's a side tangent, especially in season two with like the White Ranger. It was definitely like a fully rivalry that was built up and never resolved. So basically, like the big fight is like they get to the planet and they sort of get split off a little bit. So what I'm thinking is I want to bring. Scorpina back because Scorpina kind of disappears without explanation, so she's there too. Yeah, I was and actually thinking like, what happened to her? Like so, that's what I think of back of my mind. So yeah, she's I mean, there I guess too. she never. I guess that she never came back because uh, there wasn't any footage for her since. Uh, there wasn't any footage, and the actress they got her to play in American footage, they got her for one episode in season two, and then she like quit the show or something. So they were like, okay, I guess no Scorpina. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, anyway, regardless, uh, so Scorpina's there, and the Rangers get, like, split off. And this is where, sort of, like, the internal rivalries get resolved, and, like, characters get resolved. So Tommy gets split off on his own to fight Goldar. And it's, like, a full-on brawl between Tommy and Goldar. Adam gets split off on his own and fights Rito, because that was sort of a little bit of a thing in the show. I feel like Adam sort of had some back and forth with Rito. And then, and then Kat and Tanya fight Scorpina. That would be fun. No, again, I think this will work better as a, a comic. Instead. It would work as a comic, too. Like, either way, as long as it comes to fruition, I don't really care. Well, you heard him, Hasbro. <laughs> Make the comic. Do it. But yeah, so Tommy fights Goldar, Adam fights Rito, and Kat and Tanya fight Scorpina. And eventually... Goldar, unfortunately, you can't have Tommy finish off Goldar because Goldar appears in In Space. Rito does not. Yeah. So you can have Adam finish off Rito. 
I can't, I actually don't want Riddle to be finished off, frankly. Like, I, uh, I think I it's, it's, it's deserved for Adam as a character at the very least, because he doesn't really get much. So I think him striking down Rito would be very good. Oh no, I don't I don't like the idea of uh Rito being killed off. Well yeah, but like, he never <laughs> appear he never appears again after Zeo, because his suit was too yeah. fucked up by in space. Yeah, he was supposed to be showed up in space, but frankly, like I don't know, fucking do anything in the comics, I guess. Like fucking anything. I yeah. mean uh Finstar Finstar came back in the comics. But I, I kind of want everybody to get finished off except for Goldar. Not said in Rita, obviously, but, like, I want Rito and Scorpina to get finished off. Because they don't appear in In Space, so it would make sense, and it would tie up a loose end. I guess. So I, I, would, know, think, I would think that, theoretically, Adam would defeat Rito, Cat and Tom. I don't know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of uh, uh, either of those getting finished off. I don't know. Well, yeah, th this isn't really necessary. You could have none of them get finished off and, like, just sort of just get defeated to the point where, like, it sort of resolves any sort of rivalry because they get their asses whooped. But I, I do think that it would be more impactful if at least Rita and Scorpina got Rita. Rito and Scorpina got finished off. Frankly, and, I, I don't know. I, I kind of like Rito. He was, like, one of the few oh i adore rito i fucking love rito i but... mean i like him because i like him because like he's the only he's the only comedic character i managed to tolerate like he was some sort of obnoxious but i enjoyed him a lot look i still like, don't get it with bulk and skull literally paul schreier and jason narvey were the best fucking actors on that show <laughs> They I fucking disagree. live their roles. <laughs> I disagree, but that's about as far as I'm going to. God damn it. I like having arguments, Jack. It's fun. You never let yeah, me. But, <laughs> yeah, but we, we, we would just, like, fuck, we would just, like, spend, like, four hours, like, talking about, like, yeah, uh, you were just like, yeah, they're good characters, but, like, yeah, but they, uh, can they we, just... Can we just end this Among Us stream and make this the first episode of the fucking Jack and Riley Power Rangers podcast show? <laughs> yeah, actually, actually I, was, I was about to say that, like, an hour ago. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the Among Us stream and I'm gonna pee, and then we're gonna do the first episode, impromptu, of the Riley and Jack Power Rangers podcast. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna grab some water. Alright, uh, we'll be right back.